talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Some of you guys may not like the topic of today's video. You guys may say, well, Keek, why does it matter? But I felt the need to come on here and talk about this because I feel like it's actually kind of important. So a report out of Chicago indicates this. Trevor Simeon insists he has a way to help Justin Fields, which truthfully is music to my ears. And we all know as Bears fans that, that there is no question that the development of Justin Fields from year one to year two is the most important thing for the Chicago Bears in terms of their success, right? And we also know that it's up to not only Matt Eberflus, but Luke Getze, the offensive coordinator, to get Justin Fields to the next level, and develop develop him the right way. But new Bears QB, the Q, QB that we just signed, uh, I think two weeks ago now, we signed him to a two-year deal to bring him to Chicago, knows what his role entails, and it's not only to be the backup QB, but to help Fields grow as a quarterback. In an interview with Larry Mayer of the ChicagoBears.com, he explained how he could be beneficial to Justin Fields. For Justin, I can give him a little bit of perspective. I don't want to act like I have all the answers, and he's certainly going to get plenty of coaching. But being a young starter, because I was one several years ago, you need kind of a foxhole guy, or a guy on some days to talk football with, and on some days to talk about movies or whatever else, and shoot the breeze with. Justin's got so much potential, so I'm looking to do whatever I can to help him hopefully make a jump here. Huh. Interesting. Like I said at the beginning of the podcast, this is truly music to my ears. Obviously, the Bears are done with Nick Foles, and they brought in Trevor Simeon for a reason, and I like how Trevor Simeon knows his role, not only to be the backup QB if he's called upon, but obviously help Justin Fields develop, because like I mentioned, that is the most important things in terms of the Chicago Bears' success. And everything that Trevor Simeon said in that quote is absolutely true. When you look at Trevor Simeon, he became a starter in 2016, and faced a really unique situation. Obviously, it was his second year in the NFL, just much like Justin Fields. But the thing that was unique about Trevor Simeon's situation is that he was left to fill the void of Peyton Manning after he retired, after winning the Super Bowl. You talk about pressure. That is a whole lot of pressure. And what makes Trevor Simeon so impressive that year is that he went 8-6 and six under all that pressure. And to me, that is actually really impressive. So there is no doubt in my mind uh, that Trevor Simeon understands what Fields is going through and that he can offer plenty of, of advice on what he learned through those experiences experiences of being that young quarterback, being under immense pressure, right? Obviously, I understand that Trevor Simeon wasn't a first-round pick like Justin Fields, and obviously the expectations uh, for Justin Fields are probably much higher in year two compared to Trevor Simeon in year two. But it's really nice to realize that Trevor Simeon kind of understands a little bit what Justin Fields is going through. And the reason why Trevor Simeon was probably one of my favorite signings of the offseason by Ryan Poles is what Trevor Simeon actually has to offer uh, to Justin Fields. For example, Trevor Simeon has worked with some great future Hall of Fame quarterbacks, right? He backed up Peyton Manning in 2015 and then spent some time with Drew Brees in 2020. There is no argument that those are two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. So, what Trevor Simeon learned from those two guys, Trevor Simeon can take what he's learned from those guys and share the, that with Fields and and share what what their work habits were and how they saw the game. And that is definitely a very invaluable experience uh, for Justin Fields as he is looking to take that jump from year one to year two. So, like I said, most of you guys may not be interested. You guys may, well, what's the point of this video, Keek? The point is, is that Everything that Ryan Poles is doing here is for a reason. And I think there was a true reason why he brought in Trevor Simeon. And this is probably one of the reasons. Obviously, if Justin Fields goes down, which is a possibility, Trevor Simeon's got to come in and hopefully be a great backup for the Chicago Bears, which I feel like he is. But also, 
sometimes you bring in a backup to also be a leader, right, in the quarterback room and also teach those young guys, right, to build them up. And that's what Trevor Simeon, I think, will be able to do for Justin Fields. So obviously, Ryan Poles brought in Trevor Simeon for a reason. And like always, guys, how do you guys feel about this report, first of all? And did you actually like the signing of Trevor Simeon when it happened a couple of weeks ago? Because truthfully, I definitely loved the Trevor Simeon signing for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. And I'm super excited to see um, what, how much Trevor Simeon can actually help Justin Fields in terms of his, of his development as he goes into year two as a Chicago Bears starting quarterback. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it 